been in this position for years now and I don't know what life holds for me. I just go through the motions of emotions, me and my poetry. I, I got my notebook, pen and my pad and I never had a friend better. When I look to the past from the good and the bad, it seems we were meant to be together. Yet I still, still question our friendship because we never got that far. Got that far when it comes to any recognition. It's like not at all, not at all, but it's not our fault because we're living in a brainwashed world. Brainwashed world. Money, cars, sex, and girl, yeah. My mind's all alone. Lives in a shadow. Lives in a shadow of what once was me. <laughs> once was me a long time ago. Long time ago. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. My Johnny Cash chorus. <laughs> I wrote that shit like 12, 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Oh man, jokes. I just remembered it <laughs> while I was cooking. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, super simple crave today. I watched a video of somebody eating a, like a really nice toasted ham and cheese melt, AKA grilled cheese with ham. Uh, I'm gonna bring some banana pepper chunks into the mix, but I have some nice, beautiful shaved ham right here that I just picked up. We're gonna do the American cheese and some real cheese, a couple tater tots on the side, and then this is really where it's at. It's this bread, La Baguetterie. And it is a huge loaf. Like, I don't know how much you can tell here, but I'm gonna take two out of the center, and it's like, it's got these air pockets. You'll see it when it pops out, but it toasts up and gets so nice and goldy and crispy and melty and hammy and theseies and this and dips and just a simple one because this is what i'm craving i watched the video and now i have to eat it like i just anybody else have that ever happen you just watch a video of somebody eating something you're like i gotta get that <laughs> so that's what's happening today all right everything we need laid and displayed real quick we got the fine shreddy chetty we got the mayo musty we got some ranch we got some ketchup we sliced up our mild peppers i'm choosing to go with oil instead of butter for this because i think it's going to provide a better crunch and that crunch is going to come in on this, like I said, this huge ass bread. And it's because of all these little air pockets. That's what gets the crisp. All right, let's just little build this and have yourselves a nice little lunch. All right, y'all, easy peasy. Let's make this cheesy. We've all seen sandwiches made like this before. I'm sure why I'm even really showing you the process. But, you know, there is something to be said about the beauty of just even making something nice. You know what I mean? Something simple, something nice. And just the process. Even though this is child level, this is novice, obviously, but what's better than a nice grilled cheese? Honestly, not much. So the plan is the two types of cheese, the processed and then the real mild cheddar. And we're coming in with these peppers. We're gonna have a little, almost like a built-in pickled queso twist, if you will. For some reason, this was making my mouth water in my head when I was thinking about making this. So let's do that. All right, so then we have this beautiful ham. I think I'm honestly just gonna fold it right in half like that and put the whole stack on. And then on there, I'm just gonna lay in the more cheese here. Lay down some of the more au natural cheese. Droop two more slices on this side. There we go. Pop the top. Compress action must be required. And then we're going in with a oil coat with the brush. Canola oil coat with the brush. Firing up Maya Pangelou on nice and low, real low. We want like that low crisp because we want that low crisp to happen. While that side's happening, then you come in and you brush your other side with the oil. The oil. All right, time to get a flip on this. Aha, perfect. I think once I get a nice two-sided toast, I'm gonna bake it in the oven real low for just a couple minutes to get everything nice and melty for sure. All right, y'all, this is the second side. So we got two perfect sides. I just got real low right now, trying to get that extra melt to go here. All right, y'all, these tater tits is all set. <laughs> Man down, five second rule. Little side titers. 
Alright, and then we got this MF -er right here, fresh out the of. Shall we do a cross section? <laughs> do a little stack of room here. And that's what you have a very nice ham and cheese toasty on beautiful bread. Nice and warm. Juicy. All right, let's eat this. All right, yo, what is up? What's good with y'all? Back in studio for the first time in a long time with a ham and cheese grilled cheese or toasty on the most epic bread with the best crunch couple cheeses we all saw we all know what's happening here anyways before we do anything more we must pour we are coming in with a big old mandingo size diet pepsi today the, the the leader and i'll explain that here in a minute but before we do anything more we must pour and uh we got the sledder on deck very classic decided i want a, a little soda here today and i was in the dollar store and this was 89 cents the liter <laughs> or you go past like the checkout area and there's the 591 milliliter bottles so like the not a can but the size up between a can and this and that was a buck 25 so i was like clearly i might as well spend the 89 cents <laughs> and get the liter so that's why we're here with uh this monstrosity of a bottle but uh, yeah and speaking of pouring it is a crazy day in thunder bay that's why they call it thunder bay it's uh it's insane outside uh we've it's a legitimate thunderstorm like the most crazy rolling thunder insane downpours just off and on the whole sky is just gray uh sheet lightning and an inaugural sip for your boy I've had a bit of a weird day already, emotionally speaking. I don't know what's going on with me. It's been up and down. I've already had a few tears at one point. So, you know, life. Um, okay. But anyhow, I'm so excited to get to this sandwich, actually. Um, my two ideas for dip are the mayo and the mustard and the ranch. I want to try both. And then for the uh, tots... Just keeping it to uh, catch up usually, but we might dabble in others. Anyways, let's get it. I need a bite of this. So I just picked this ham up fresh from my... Oh, man, that looks good. So soft. Oh, my God. From my local grocery store near me. It's old school, though. Very classic. Very... Uh, it's not modernized. It's, like, still everybody's... It's old school, very old school. And uh, they have the best meat products though. They have the best meat, so let's go. Mm. Oh. Perfect. Very good with the uh, mustard mayo combo, but now we go ranch. Mm -hmm. Haven't hit a um, a real banana pepper pocket, but that's coming right there. Let's try it just as such. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got that pickly heat. Cuts through the cheese. Absolutely perfectly. So who inspired this video was actually Jeff Music Man. He ate a ham and cheese toasty. That's what they call it, I guess, maybe over across the pond. Mm. 
I went and I watched that video. I knew I had to have one. With this amazing bread. And that is what's up. But yeah, my nearest local grocery store, I remember it like it's very child from my childhood, but they're still going strong. And I go in there pretty often and there's this dude that works there in his like 30s. And he always, he's like short, kind of stocky. And he gives off that he might be gay kind of vibes. But a little bit incognito. But you know when you feel eyes on you? When you turn and eyes are on you? And the person's like... <laughs> Always catch them staring at me. And I don't mean this like toot my own <laughs> gaydar horn or anything. Um, and I, you know, I don't usually feel like I get checked out by dudes or whatever, but every time I'm in there, it seems like he's just always on me. It's like you can feel it too. You can feel the gaze. <laughs> There's a joke there somewhere. <laughs> You can feel the gaze, but it's true. You can, you can just feel eyes on you. And he always gets kind of freaked out when I catch him, which I don't care, but today I had to, ch I went to check out cause he's the only person on till and the lady in front of him, they had like a pretty normal conversation. He was like, being very fluent. <laughs> then when I went through, like, he like didn't talk to me basically, he just like did the thing. And then when we were, when I was leaving, the whole receipt, like you need your receipt typing, he like stumbled on his words and was super awkward. <laughs> so, but it's happened, I'm talking like, upwards of 10 times where I've caught this guy checking me. Like I say, I don't care. But he does it. So there's that. And so while we're on the subject of people checking people out, let's tell you the follow up of the Tinder story. Inquiring minds want to know. Uh, it's not what you expect. It's a little disappointing. <laughs> but uh, I was personally uncertain if I even wanted to go there, like I said in that video. And <clears throat> we had some more texts and flirts and stuff and she basically was like, yeah, do you, do you want to come hang out with a MILF, she said. Something to that effect, maybe cougar, I'm not sure. So she just sent the invite. And I just left it quiet for a couple days because I was making my decision. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go through with all of that. And then get into a situation ship and feel obligated for the summer and things like that. I just wasn't sure. So a few days went by, maybe three or four. Uh, maybe a little more than that. We got five. I went to go check the messages. And poof, she was gone. 
so she like un unmatched us would be, my, would be my guess and i have a couple theories a she's like maybe she had other prospects and just they committed first and then she's like okay i'm out b i just took my sweet ass time and didn't give her the immediate response that she wanted and she dipped on that or maybe she found the video and was like ah fuck this i'm out <laughs> but i highly doubt the latter because even though she had access to my instagram there's no link to my channel for my instagram i never told her about my channel never told her anything about the internet uh, in terms of this and hoodie noir like for you to get to hoodie's house from hoodie noir is near impossible in, in my estimate so this sandwich is so perfectly simple and good wow the ham is so tender and soft so i think she probably just got a little annoyed with the fact that i wasn't responding quick and was just like ah this guy is not committing i'm out on to other options you know which is fine by me i wasn't enamored or enthralled with the idea just could have been a possibility but i just couldn't i don't know i couldn't really commit to the to the idea That was a dud ended up a dud however i did go out not this past weekend just that just happened but the one before i had myself a night First real fun going out night I've had in a while. And that's a little tale for another video. But uh, it sort of ties in even to the Whopper video because I was talking about or no sorry that's before that uh, the pizza video where I was talking about maybe doing stand-up comedy and I woke up not this Friday but last Friday and on my Facebook feed there's a comedy show tonight open mic so that sparked an adventure But we save that for later. All right. Perfect meal. Domed. Sorry to let you down on the Tinder. But I just wasn't ready to uh, go that deep. Mainly because I didn't want to enter into something giving like a false idea of something. And then be kind of stuck. Or go that deep and then kind of be like a ghost guy. Like a bailer. And then just have that shittiness. So it just wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth my energy, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, sandwich is perfect. I'm kind of sweaty. It's humid and hot today. Like I said, thunderstorms. And uh, y'all know what to do. Till the next one, eat good, live well. Stay true.